Have you heard of the Baltic Dry Index? Do you know what it means when it's up? How it can be good for consumers when it's down? And how it's one of the leading economic indicators? The Baltic Dry Index, or BDI as it is sometimes known, measures the cost of shipping dry bulk goods and other raw materials such as coal and steel via the ocean. It represents the cost paid by an end customer to have a shipping company transport raw materials across seas on the Baltic Exchange, the global marketplace for brokering shipping contracts. The index is compiled by calling shipping lines and the data is quoted every working day at 1300 London time. The exchange measures different routes and commodities around the world and averages them into one index. Another component of the BDI are the four classification sizes of ocean-going dry bulk transport vessels. Handy size, between 15 and 35,000 deadweight tons. Supermax, between 45 and 59,000 deadweight tons. Panamax, between 60 and 80,000 deadweight tons, so named for their ability to pass through the Panama Canal. And the colossal cape size, at 100,000 and above deadweight tons. Due to their size, they travel around the capes of Africa and South America. To give an idea of the size of 100,000 deadweight tons, you must first know that vessels are measured in 20-foot equivalent units, or TEUs. That's the number of 20-foot containers a ship can carry. One TEU has the same volume as about 185 oil drums. The cape-sized vessels have as much capacity as about 1.5 million oil drums. Consumer spending and other economic indicators examine past trends, such as inflation or commodities exchanges, and can also be affected by governments and speculators. The BDI, on the other hand, offers a forecast of market fitness. Because it's a measure of costs to move dry bulk goods and raw materials to factories and refineries, the rise or fall of the index heralds the strength or weakness of production. It is also difficult to manipulate due to the fact that it's simply the supply of real demand. No one is going to order a new fuel-efficient ship if they aren't going to use it. These are the supplies. Interestingly enough, any attempt to increase the cost of shipping by taking ships out of circulation in an effort to decrease the supply is actually too costly for ship owners. The demand side of the Baltic Dry Index is the demand for raw commodities for production. No one is going to book a bulk carrier and not use it. So what does the Baltic Dry Index mean to you? An increase in the BDI signifies an increase to the cost of raw materials at destination. That price increase is passed on to the consumer of the finished product to maintain their profit margin. Conversely, a drop in the BDI means that finished goods will be cheaper. Apart from signifying a growth in the global economy and the currency exchanges, the BDI can also be used to identify what industries are expecting growth. Ultimately, the BDI can identify top investment choices in the stock market. Obviously, the index can be skewed by other external forces in either the supply or destination ports. Natural and man-made disasters, war and other political strife can all drive down the index. Even the number of vessels on the water can influence the BDI. For example, both old fuel burning ships and newer, more efficient ones create a glut on the market, pushing prices down. Slow steaming to save fuel adds to the transit time and has the same effect as reducing the number of ships on the water. Port sizes can influence the index too. Some ports simply cannot handle the larger sized ships and must book a carrier that will fit through the canals. If a factory can purchase cheap iron from South America, but the ports in their country are too small, they may be forced to buy their iron from a different country with higher iron prices and pay the higher rate for shipping with the smaller sized bulk vessels. What does the Baltic Dry Index mean to them? The BDI can track the money market and precious metals. It also tracks verbatim with the Gold Shares Index and a host of other exchanges. In 2008, the BDI rose to an unprecedented high of over 11,400 points.
In June, it plummeted 93%. The plunge was a precursor to collapsed banks, a bear stock market, rampant unemployment, and global economic turmoil. Some analysts have referred to that time frame as a boomlet. In the years since 2008, the indices have supported that theory. The overall trend line still shows an upward rise in the Baltic Dry Index. Take a look at the industries with which you are acquainted and compare them with the Baltic Dry Index. Over time, familiar patterns may start to emerge.